what's happening YouTube family so for this video it's just gonna be a visual instruction very lightly on how to change your regular mirror to a live view rear mirror so most of this is gonna be in the description but this is just gonna be a quick visual so you can kind of get an idea of what you're reading I don't know sometimes that helps me I'll read something and pause it if there's a description enough on how to do it on YouTube otherwise uh, sometimes I kind of get hung up and got to figure it out myself so this is um, can be purchased from mods for the number four alpha.com he'll send you the whole kit he's very very informative and answers your questions very quickly if you have any questions on how to do it I bought the whole kit from him uh, he told me how everything goes together it was actually really really easy and if I had to do it again by myself it would probably take me maybe 45 minutes tops but I think this took me first try an hour and a half so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start by this black piece back here if I can get it to focus and you can see there's a line right there so you want to grab the bottom and then push in from the sides the bottom piece will slide off um, the top piece will then come off also and there's little grooves little like hook points on the windshield when you go to reattach it um, it's very very simple to do so from there you'll see a Torx bit that'll be back there that you can take uh, you take that out and then the whole mirror itself you'll grab and kind of pull upwards towards if you have a sunroof or if not you you know pull upwards towards the roof and kind of back at you it, it slides out you'll see it. it's like a pie shaped bracket so that'll be off you'll be done there super simple you know five minutes tops so from there you're going to want to take off the a pillar the B pillar and the C pillar which you can see I need to give a Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson knockout punch to because it's falling out um, you'll also want to take if you drop this down there's these little I can't get it if you stick a small screwdriver in there these pop up and there'll be a bolt there and a bolt there and then this will just pop out you're gonna need to do that for the rear as well and there's also that little airbag piece same thing pop that out there'll be a bolt back there so then you'll be able to take out the a pillar the b pillar has got these hooks like th right about here like this so you're gonna need to take that and kind of pull it out so it slides down the rear is just held on with uh, push clips so you kind of pull it and it'll pop out it'll make a bunch of noise so you'll also need to take out this is all on the passenger side so everything you need to do right here is on the passenger side ABC you'll also need to take out the driver's side B and C pillars because you're gonna have to drop the headliner in the rear so you're gonna both C pillars both P, B pillars just the a pillar on the passenger side so from there you're going to pull down on the headliner very gently don't go manhandling it you know don't crisp brown anything um because you don't want to crease it and then from there you'll see a both wires you're going to have a wire coming from the driver's side and a wire coming from the passenger side that's for your radio and your xm it's going to be behind foam don't rip apart the foam because you're going to need it to protect the headliner from the abrasiveness of the plugs when you put them back together so be kind of easy when you do that you'll, you'll unplug those it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt to get through especially me because i got like two kid seats back here so when you take those apart you'll see like it looks like a christmas tree looking bracket and it'll be i want to say it's a 10 millimeter bolt in the middle undo that bolt don't lose it or the bracket and your 
antenna will be all set to pull out. Pull out the antenna from the top, drop the new one in. It's going to have three wires now. It's going to have your radio, it's going to have your XM, and it's also going to have the wire you're going to need to run to turn this on and off. Hook, it, hook the two stock wires back up, kind of put them in the foam, and then before you put the headliner back in, and this is why you took the pillars out, you're going to run that extra cable kind of tucked in just, just inside here. So I add a little tool. It looks like a pie cutter, but the inside is kind of channeled. So you, I just tuck the wire in it and then just ran it like this and it tucked it behind the headliner. And then from there, really, you just kind of put everything back together, which is super simple. So now you're going to run that cable across the front here. Um, down with everything else which will be in this section of the top black piece you can see where it kind of hides where all the cables come in and you'll put your new mirror on remember it just goes on like a pie cut and put the bolt back in to hold it so it doesn't jiggle around and whatnot and you will plug that in and then make sure these go back on the two little clips here and this, they just squeeze together. And once they squeeze together and they're on the clips, it, it holds itself in place. So from there, you should try. Your mirror should work. I should note, too, that you should unplug your battery at the beginning before you do any of this. I should have said that at the beginning. Just because you're going to be walk, working around pretty much all the airbags in the car. So unplug your battery, do all that, and then when you put it back together... You know, obviously plug your battery back in and test it. And you'll be able to have your regular mirror. Or you'll have the live view mirror. So I know this isn't a detailed show you how to do everything, rip everything apart. I did it last summer. It's now the middle of February. But I just thought maybe a write-up and a visual maybe help some more people get this done. Because honestly, this is one of the best things I've done to my car aside from the gauges from the CTS um, especially at night if you put this on at night you can see so much better um, or if you have passengers in the back seat you're not gonna be able to see anything you're just gonna see a bunch of ugly faces looking back at you or if your rear windows frosted or covered in snow and you're running late to work or, or whatever your girl said you know her parents left and you gotta get over there and it's not defrosted and you want to see if the pose are behind you boom because this sits right on the roof and I've never had an issue with it getting foggy, wet, covered in anything. So, hope this helps you guys out. Uh, everything will be in the description below on how to do it. And I'll also have a link on how I did that. That's another super easy mod. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, I'm going to do a couple more of these. So if you want to uh, subscribe, uh, be greatly appreciated. And we'll see you on the next one.